All right, what's up guys? My name is John Bechtold, and today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video about how to make a cinematic sequence. So what I mean when I say cinematic sequence is a different aspect ratio than the standard 1920 by 1080 that goes along with most internet content these days. The sequence that I'm gonna show you how to make is 1920 by 817, which is the standard cinematic aspect ratio. This is kind of more pleasing to the human eye as we have a more stereo vision than what 1920 by 1080 is. It's in general uh, easier for us to see and it just makes more sense for our eyes. So usually I edit in this workspace. It just gives your videos a different feel and kind of an interesting touch. So let's jump into creating the sequence. All right, so you're gonna start by opening up a Premiere file and dragging in any clip. So once you get your clip in the project folder, you're gonna drag it in and uh, create a sequence. I usually drag my clip straight into the sequence because it creates a sequence that exactly matches the source file. And then from here you can make adjustments, but it's easier to do this than uh, manually type in everything to match a source file. So what we're gonna do is uh, right click on the sequence and go to sequence settings. Uh, what we're going to be changing here is, like I said, the aspect ratio. So this is a 4K project file, not 1080. So basically it's twice the pixels of a 1080 file. So we're just going to double the second number in the aspect ratio, the width of the file from 817 in a 1080 sequence to 1634. This is just twice the 817 and you can see below uh, our preview files are the 1920 by 817. So if you're doing this with a 4K file, your frame size is going to be 38. 40 by 1634. If you're doing it with 1080, it'll be uh, 1920 by 817. And you can kind of just apply that aspect ratio over any type of footage that you have. If it's 720, if it's 480, if it's 8K or 6K or 2K, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's long as you keep that 1920 by 817 aspect ratio intact. And it doesn't even have to be exactly that. You could do 1920 by 800, but 1920 by 817 is uh, the exact number that you would use to keep it in a cinematic aspect ratio. So once you change that, it'll give you a warning box. Don't worry about it. Uh, just change some preview files and uh, you're all set. That's your cinematic sequence. You can see comparatively, it's now a lot wider than the standard 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio. And it has that cinematic feel that uh, most people look for when they're producing their videos. So on top of that, it gives you some room to work. The actual video file itself did not change. It didn't scrunch up, just the sequence file moved. So now you can move the clip up and down a little bit, uh, not left to right, but up and down and reposition your shot. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, it would be awesome if you would leave a like. If you want to see more like it, it'd be sweet if you'd let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel. All right, thanks for watching. Later.